Hey guys, it's Chris from Steed, and today we have another edition of Meet the Team. We have Conrad here in his beautiful 2015 GT. He works in our shipping department right here at our Valdosta facility in South Georgia. Conrad, tell us a little bit about this 15 GT. All right, so, so far, what I've done with Steeda, I've done the spacer kits, front and rear, Steeda cold air intake, the open lid, and it got a long tube headers, BBK long tube headers with a Corsa mid pipe with the Borla attack cap back system. Wow, that's loud. And uh, <laughs> got the Steeda banner, and you know, that's about it so far with the car. So uh, what size spacers did you do front and rear? Are those 20 or 25 millimeter? Um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, 20 in the front and 25 in the rear. Nice, nice, nice. No, that looks good. Um, and it looks like it's originally a non-performance package car, but, uh, yes, you, yeah. but you got the performance package wheels. That looks good. And you did the black lug nuts as well. Yes, sir. Um, so what all do you intend to do? It looks like it's still stock ride height. Yeah. So what's next? So. So far, I feel like next on my list is going to be new wheels, lowering springs, front and rear sway bar, and the full steel suspension. What kind of, what kind of springs? Uh, the dual race springs because I'm going to be autocrossing the car nice. and drag racing the car as well. You know, I've been out to a couple of events, but I feel like with the state of suspension, it's gonna bring the full potential out of the car. Oh, for sure. I mean, and you did great. I mean, was that your first time out on autocross? When uh, you yes, sir. Awesome. Well, uh, I mean, you did awesome, and it was yeah. cool to see you out there. And uh, now with the dual rate springs, do you know which shocks gonna go along with it? Um, it's either the pretty sure it's the pro action one. It's the non adjustable or no. adjustable? It's gonna be adjustable. Nice, nice. That's the way to go, especially with the dual rates. Um, that's what we run on the HPD car yes. down south at our Pompano facility. But Aside from that, oh, you got a Roush hood scoop on there, yeah. the Roush heat extractors. Um, do you have anything done to the interior? Um, just blue lights for the interior Looks and the good. little pony on the corner. That's about it. And you like to give your sun rides in this too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we go, we go ripping around town all the time. You know, it's a little bit loud right now, but he enjoys it. He likes That's it. all that matters. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I mean, tell me a little bit about your uh, your passion for Mustangs and cars in general and where it came from. Okay, so growing up, I've never been into American muscle cars. I grew up with JDM cars, mini trucks, you know, Honda Civics, and never a V8. So when I first came to Vodosta, I first wanted a Camaro, and I got a Camaro, 6th gen Camaro. It was a V6, you know, it still handled pretty good, but when I started working at Steed Autosports, you just fall in love with the Mustangs when you see it everywhere in the warehouse and, you know, the noise and just the rumble of the engine of the five liter V8 and just watching Scott and everybody around here just ripping around the Mustangs. <laughs> you, you just gotta get one at the end of the day. You gotta be a part of the team and a part of the family. So went this route, said goodbye to the Camaro and yeah, bring this thing home and that's all she wrote. You missed the Camaro? Uh, you know, it handles a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. Interesting. But Power-wise, speed, we'll never touch this car air, never. But with the right upgrades, right? Yeah, with the, with the seat of suspension, I should out, out drive the Camaro, for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure, yeah. So tell us a little bit about how you got into cars in general. Um, yeah, you know, when I was younger, played football, Little League football, just to stay out of trouble, went to the drag strip with my uncles and aunts and stuff, so you know what I mean? It really started off from when I was about 15, 13 years old when I was still living in Guam and then came out here. You know, still was in the cars, but not really until I started working for Steed Auto Sports and then I saw all the Mustangs, fell in love with it as soon as I started working here, fell in love with the automotive industry. I'm going to college for master tech certification. So, you know, just growing up, seeing cars, going to school now and working around the automotive community. So that's really what got me here. Now, Master Tech, does that mean you've done a lot of these uh, installations yourself? Uh, yes, sir, yeah, yeah, I did every single part on this car I've done myself. When I first got the car, it was just bone stock, nothing done, uploaded the tune, put the Steeda coder intake on, did the catless long tube headers on jack sands in the garage. <laughs> and. Uh, Mounted up the uh, the exhaust in the garage, 
but first day of uh, putting on long tubes, you know, I didn't know it was gonna burn up my starter. Just went all out, didn't put no mid pipe, ripped it around town, got to school, started burning out in, in the parking lot, and then had to buy a new starter. We all have tough lessons yeah. to learn. Yeah, lesson to learn, I'll right? be honest, I, I could tell you some serious yeah. stories. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, it was an easy enough replacement. Yeah. You were able to replace it yourself. Yes, sir. And you're back on the road the next day. Yeah. So, well, Conrad, thank you so much for coming out, man. And this beautiful 15 GT, really excited to see it and hear it yes, sir. <laughs> around the office here. And I'm um, excited to see the thing a little bit lower to the ground and handling better than that Camaro did. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, <laughs> we got to. Um, if you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. Let us know if you want to see more of Conrad's car, what parts you think he should add next. And don't forget the most important thing. Speed matters. <laughs>